I've played Quirin and Roblox for quite a while now. In fact, today, January 30th, is actually the one year anniversary of me making videos on Croydon and Roblox. So, what have I learned about the game since I started making videos on it? I hope by sharing my experiences and new knowledge, it's going to help you grind some points and buy the buses that you want. So, one of the first things I've learnt more about since I started playing is the rush hour. It goes without saying that you should be driving at rush hour, but when is rush hour and where should you be driving? There's actually four different times within the day where you can get more passengers than usual. In the morning, there's a morning peak time, which is 7 o'clock to 9.30am in GMT, and a morning rush hour, which is 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock am. In the evening, the peak time is 3.30 to 6.30 p.m. and the evening rush hour is 16.30 to 17.30. So, if you're playing during any of these times, you will get more points. And yes, this happens every single day, weekday or weekend. However, where should you drive? Well, in the mornings, passengers will get buses into the town centre and in the afternoon, they'll want to go out of the town centre. Due to this, I would recommend short routes into or out of the town centre. For example, the 312 from Addiscombe to East Croydon, the 433 from Shirley to Park Street, or the 367 from Addiscombe to West Croydon. You could also try out the X1 on Route Master Transit, which is an express route from Beddington to East Croydon and will help you collect lots of passengers. The next thing that I've learned about Croydon Roblox in the past year is to utilise all transport methods. Of course, stick to what you're good at, however a good way of getting points is by trying out different methods. The bus is the obvious choice and will get you points for correctly loading passengers. However, the number of passengers is a variable that you cannot control. At some stops, you'll have no passengers and therefore no points, and at other times, you'll work a lot for little credits. The tram is one of my favourite ways to gain points. Despite some of the difficult driving around the town centre and in other parts, you'll get 20 points for leaving a stop at the correct time. There is also a taxi option, which requires you to pick up and drop off passengers in different locations. The good thing about the taxis is that the points earned matches the route that you've chosen. The bad thing about the taxis is the paying for fuel, which can cost you points from your own bank. There are some hacks I have about taxis, so if you do want to see them, click in that click that video in the top right hand corner. And obviously, this all goes without mentioning many other different ways of getting points, such as travel mode and daily challenges. Over time, I've also changed the routes that I drive, and this is something that you'll do naturally when you're playing the game. When I started playing Quirin Robots personally, I started with routes like the 264 and the 455, and they are good routes, but I've since moved to something different, company routes. With some company routes, you could have problems, for example with the timings, but otherwise they work pretty well. People want others to drive their routes, so they make them so that they get you a lot of points and they follow a nice route. If you're not a fan of company routes yourself personally, which is fair enough, keep experimenting with normal ones. With the new feature of selecting where you spawn and selecting your route, it gives you more chance to try out lots of different routes. The next thing that I'm going to tell you is a really small change that you can make to your gameplay, however helps massively. When I am loading passengers, I tend to hover my mouse over the return option on the ticket selector. This helps a lot and it helps you leave your bus stops quicker, as the most common options are single, followed by a return and then day ticket, with very occasionally the other options below that. Personally, this helps me out a lot. You want to be able to load your passengers quickly, because otherwise you might be late when you're leaving a bus stop. Something I'm still learning how to do is how to save up my own points. I've learned how to do this with my company, however I have no control when it comes to buying buses for myself. I keep on spending points on buses that I don't need. Since I started to play Coin Roblox a couple of years ago, 
I have always wanted to buy the Enviro 400 MMC or the Rootmaster, but it's just never happened. Mostly because of this channel, and I keep on having to buy the buses for reviews. But this year, I will set my resolution to finally save up my points and get one of these buses. And if it's a bus that you want as well, keep on following my tips and set a goal for you too. And that is the end of this video. If you want exclusive Rootmaster Studios content along with many other perks, make sure to press on the join button to see them below. And if you need some more tips, go watch that video which is currently in the top left hand corner of the screen. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.